so I was just like, let me come on and, you know, talk about the mom life and give an update. But I'm also going to be doing my makeup while we talk about it. So, yeah, if you follow me on any other social media accounts, then you know that Enzo is one now. He's turned one in November, so he's actually going to be a year and two months or 14 months depending how you say it um, and yeah it's been fun um one thing for sure to all my new moms that are not at this stage yet or anyone that's even expecting let me just tell you girl <laughs> that it 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 gets easier and harder at the same time, you know, like my hair right there. It's crazy. It gets easier and harder at the same time because, you know, it's exciting. Like when they start walking and start doing like things like that on their own. But it's also like a little bit more stressful because they're getting into everything and they are... Um, you know, he like opens my drawers, takes everything out of my drawers. He gets into the refrigerator in the kitchen. Like if I open the door, like he'll run real quick. He tries to get stuff out of the fridge. He opens up my cabinets. So it's just crazy because you need to be on them and watching them and make sure that nothing like dangerous is at their reach, you know? Um, we're looking into getting like those child proof locks for like the drawers and the cabinets but it's so funny because i watched i was watching videos of different ones and which ones we should get and in these videos these same little babies figure out how to do it you know they figure out how to open like the drawer and the cabinets even though it's like technically child proof because let me tell you kids are smart you know and as a first time mom, I don't know how other first times moms feel, but I, when Enzo was born, like I didn't want to go anywhere. Like I didn't want to go to the grocery store. I didn't want to go out to eat. Like I just didn't want to go anywhere because I felt like it was going to be hard, you know? Like I didn't want to take him out because there was a baby, blah, blah, blah. Honestly, that's the time that you should go out. You should definitely go out get out the house take them out get them used to being out like all they do at that newborn stage is eat shit and sleep you know literally now that he's older which is where i thought it was gonna be easier to go out now it's when it's harder because they don't want to stay still they want to be moving around they want to be grabbing everything and then once they start walking they just want to be walking so it's even harder now because now you have to like actually distract them if that makes sense so i kind of regret not going out more when he was a baby so for anyone that has a baby a newborn baby or a baby on the way don't be scared to go out and do stuff right now that they're little or they're newborns because that's when it's actually easier. But like I said, it's just crazy because it, it gets easier and harder at the same time, you know? But it's it's definitely fun. It's a learning experience. Don't let people like, people love to compare, you know? Like, oh, th how many teeth does he have? Or, oh, is he walking yet? Or, oh, like, when did he start walking? Or, Oh, mine started walking at this age and blah, blah, blah. And it's so annoying. Like, that's something that I hate. I cannot stand it when people do that. Because I feel like you shouldn't compare. Because everyone is different. Everyone learns different. Everyone starts different. And I feel that by people doing that and asking these questions, they're putting unnecessary pressure on the parents, you know? Or on you as a parent. Because people feel like that need to be comparing. So... Don't worry about like, oh my gosh, well, she said her kid started walking at this age or started eating at this age or started blah, blah, blah. Like, don't even worry about it. Like, everyone is different. Everyone learns differently. Like, don't feel bad or pressured 
just because your kid might be behind according to them or sometimes they're even ahead you know like i have people tell me like oh my gosh he's already walking like mine didn't start walking till 15 months and then i have some that tell me oh mine started walking at nine months you know so everyone's different so just don't let these people get to you but yeah i mean it's been good He's still napping, which is a good thing for me. He's down to one nap a day though, which I don't mind. He was napping two times. I definitely think they do need naps. So that's something that I do recommend for any new moms, like try to keep that nap going because my little guy is cranky when he doesn't nap. Just like when we're tired, you know, we get cranky too, like as adults. So imagine how they feel as babies, like they're probably like all annoyed and irritated. And that's how I think about it. Like I know when I'm tired, I'm cranky. So I'm sure they feel the same way. But everyone's different, you know. I have friends that had babies like around the same time that I had Enzo. And like they did the whole like letting them cry it out thing method and leaving them alone and their kid goes to sleep fine by themselves you know i didn't do that i'm just too much of a i guess weenie i don't know i go and lay there with him and we watch tv and then he naps he always naps at the same time though so like i already know like at one, he's gonna start getting tired. It's ready for, he's ready for his nap. I get his milk, you know, and then I lay there with him and then he knocks out. Oh, and that's another thing I hate. Now that he's one, people were, you have to be like, are they still giving him bottle? They're still giving him milk? I stopped at this age. They shouldn't be drinking bottle anymore. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, good for you. Good for you and your child. You guys are amazing. Like, There's just certain ways to approach things, you know? like how to say things because sometimes people come across like kind of like they're telling you that you're doing it wrong or you're not doing it right like i love to don't get me wrong i love to ask people for advice like oh i do ask like oh when did you start doing you know like giving them solids or when did you start doing like regular milk or when did you start so like i do obviously like to ask people but it's one thing when you know you're asking someone and it's another thing when someone's like judging you, like, oh, you're still doing that? You're still doing this? Like, I stopped doing that at this age. I started potty training at this age. I started, and it's like, okay, you know, good for you. Like, this is my first child. <laughs> let me learn, you know? So don't let these people get to you. Because people love to just kind of talk down on it, you know? That's another thing that I've learned. Like, people just love to compare and love to talk about themselves and their situation and their kids and you're just like okay cool also i i did get in so his vaccines like he is getting vaccinated and um i didn't know this but if anyone has a baby and they have their one year vaccines coming up um one of the vaccines causes for them to get like a little bit of a rash and they get like a bump which is their one year of vaccines that i guess it's the mmr that causes that my cousin she's a nurse and she i asked her you know i was like hey you know Enzo got his vaccines like about a week ago and i see that he has like this rash now like what is that i thought he had got an allergic reaction to something because he has really sensitive skin and she actually told me that it was from that vaccine that it was normal to just keep an eye on it to make sure that it doesn't get like worse or more advanced or something so i'm like i wish the doctor would have told me because his pediatrician didn't tell me shit and i was like tripping out and i googled it and i'm like you know mmr rash or rash after mmr vaccine or whatever and yeah i came up exactly when Enzo had came up so i was freaking out you know as a new mom you freak out so just fyi 
if you're gonna get your kid vaccinated, if you see them get a rash or these bumps, definitely keep an eye on it, but it is normal. And it's crazy because it's said on there that some kids will get it, not all the kids, seven to 10 days after their shot or seven to 11 days or something. And he got the rash literally like the 10th day after. So I was like, what the hell? It's weird, you know? And then it also had said that some kids get like, um, I think it's the mumps vaccine. Because of the mumps vaccine, they'll get a, um, like this half of the, their throat and like their cheek, like will get swollen, which is actually also common, I guess. And that happens like four weeks after the vaccine. Thankfully, that didn't happen to Enzo. I was kind of scared. I was like, oh, crap. If he got these freaking, um, uh, this fucking rash, he's probably going to get that too. Like, with my luck, you know? I'm a paranoid-ass mom. But no, thank God, he did not. So FYI, mamas, be ready. Be ready for them shops that nobody tells you about. Nobody tells you about these vaccines, like, side effects and shit. But now you know. I wish somebody would have told me. Good thing I asked my cousin because I was just like, I don't know about this. What's going on? I don't know what I'm doing with my makeup. I'm just bored. Actually, I do know what I'm doing. I wanted to do like a purple and yellow type of look. So if any of y'all are going to a Laker game, just kidding. Or if you want some inspiration, here it is. Let's see, what else? What else can I advise you guys about? I don't know, I just started taking off his pants. I don't know what else to blame. He started taking his freaking little pants off and his socks off. And my friend's like, maybe like now he's ready to get potty trained, you know? Which I think so too. I looked it up and it said that you should potty train like at Almost two years old, which I feel like that's kind of old, but I don't know. I'm going to try. I'll probably try when he's like a year and a half. I just don't know if I should get him below the toilet. So if any of you already did the potty training step, let me know what you did, what worked for you. And if it was different for a boy and a girl, because I'm sure it is. That's why it's so scary. I'm like, you're a boy, dude. I don't know what to tell you. Like, shake it a little, I guess. You know, like, how am I supposed to explain that to him? Like, obviously, his daddy's gonna tell him, too, but I'm the one that's with him 24-7, so... I'm gonna have to be like, just, just shake it a little. Don't shake it more than three times. So, if anyone has any advice on training, body training boys, let me know. Let me hear it. Put it in the comments. One of my husband's coworkers told me that with her son, she put like Cheerios in the toilet because the Cheerios float and that she told her son to aim for the Cheerio that was like floating around in the toilet when he was like peeing. I kind of like that idea. I was like, oh, that's a good idea. You know? That's really cool. And then my other husband's coworker was there too and she's like, because she, she said, use it as a target, you know, the, the Cheerio. And then my husband's other coworker, or her co his coworker's wife, she was like, why don't you just put like an actual target in the toilet? <laughs> Which kind of makes sense, huh? I'm just like, you right, you right. You'd probably do that. Gosh, doing my makeup is such a drag now. It's so sad. It's only a drag when I know he can wake up any second. Because it makes me feel like I can't like, really take my time on it, you know? God, I hate having nails. I feel like I can't dip into my stuff as good, you know, like. I think it's all stuck on my nails. Oh, so I just watched um, Fifty Shades Breed. I know I'm late. It was alright. I thought it was going to be better. I was like, I guess. There's more sex on Game of Thrones than Fifty Shades of Grey. And I'm all about Game of Thrones right now because I just watched it. Thanks to my friend. She told me about it. So now I'm excited for the new season that's coming in April. Kind of 
looks me. So what I'm using on my eyes right now, I'm using the yellow from Mount Cosmetics, the radioactive stuff. And then I'm also using the yellow from, I want to say it's from Colored Rain, Ooh. called Lemon Drop. Yeah, Colored Rain. The purple shadows that I used are also from Colored Rain. They're like, I got them in individuals, but I think you were able to get them as a palette, or in a palette. They're really pretty and they're really, really pigmented. And I also used um, Divina from the I Love Sarai Colourpop uh, collab. I love this palette too, actually. It's really pretty. I'm surprised at how like pigmented everything is. So I'm gonna put on some glitter. Cause you know, I just, all my eyeliners are dried out, I'm so sad. Like, I'm trying to find a good one. This one here is the Tarte Precision Longwear Liner. Whenever I do glitter, I like to put some liner down first. Because putting eyeliner over glitter is messy, you know? So you should put a little bit of blue on the brush. And then I have to put blue on my ears. Just tap it. And then I'll grab some glitter. And then tap it on the top. Okay, this is so pretty. So lately I've been doing my eyebrows more like natural, I guess. And I've been using the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo. And I just got the brush because I... So many people say they love the Anastasia Beverly Hills like brow brush. This is a number 12. So I got it. And actually, it's really good. So what I do is I carve my eyebrows out first with the concealer. Like the shape that I'm going to do before I do my eyeshadow. And then I go in with the... Alrighty, so... The glitter I use, by the way, is from Shot by Levoss called Champagne Bubbly. I really love the glitter, it's really pretty. And it doesn't have just one tone, it's kind of like a multi-tone, like, glitters. And I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and Moisturizer 2-in-1. I really like this. I don't really like primers, actually. I only use moisturizers. So this is the only moisturizer, I mean, primer moisturizer, like, that I use. But it's like a 2-in-1. And I really like it. My skin is really dry, which is why I only like to moisturize. I just feel like primers tend to dry me out a little bit, so... Yeah, and then my cheap foundation that I use, which is like my drugstore or whatever, um, is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible 24 Hour Pro Matte. I do the shade 105. Even though this is Pro Matte, I don't feel like it's as it's like a semi matte finish, and it says that it's for normal to oily skin. I'm dry. I'm like normal to dry, and this works good on me. I don't feel like it dries me out or anything. Ooh. And I like to put my foundation on with the Beauty Blender, dry, or a brush like a. I don't have one here, like the one I like to use. But I like this one, I feel like it matches me pretty good. The only thing that I don't like about it is that I feel like it has backflash. Like, when I take pictures wearing this, it does not match. Like, it doesn't look like it matches. I look so white. So if I know I'm going to be taking photos, I do not wear this foundation. This is like my foundation that I wear when I'm not going to go anywhere or like if I'm not going to go somewhere important where I need my makeup to be bomb bomb, you know? Like right now. I'm just doing it because I'm bored, so. I ain't about to use my $40 foundation. <laughs> and then I mean, this gets the job done because you guys saw how red I am. I have like a lot of redness on my face. I've tried using concealers before though, like the color correcting ones, like the green ones, but I don't know. I don't feel like I need it that bad, but it is pretty red. I feel like I'm fine without it. Oh, I also started taking Enzo to this little gym. It's so cute. He's with kids that are from 10 to 18 months. I think I started taking him when he was 10 months. And they do like little activities and songs and like they work on their muscles, like their upper body, lower body. Um, they teach them about like putting toys away after they've used them. I definitely recommend that. And where I take him, I don't think it's expensive because I can go up to four times a week and it's a little class um and it's only 90 bucks a month and i can take him four times a week you know 
I want to try the Jimbery kids. I know they have a little like gym too. So if anyone has gone to that or knows how it works, let me know. Or if you have any recommendations on little gym classes like that, let me know. I would love to try other places, you know, for Enzo. I just thought it was important because since we live all the way out here and I don't have like family clothes and he's an only child, I want him to, I wanted him to like socialize. So that's why I started taking him there so that he can be good like around other kids, you know, not be like awkward or fight or something. I don't know. But he's really good with the other little kids. Like they're all really good with each other. It's cute. He, he's the youngest there. Everyone's older than him. Oh, my little baby. I'm gonna come to all crazy today. Some kind of bronze up. You can be. I love this. I don't know if they still make it. It's the baked bronzer from the rock. It's a bone. I feel like it's a little bit orangey. It's a little bit warmer, I guess. It's the gold deposit mineralized, mineralized, mineralized skin finish from MAC. Um, it's really pretty though, but let me show you. Like it's a lot more orange than the Lorac one. It's still cute though. Oh my gosh, now that Enzo's older, another thing. That you should enjoy right now from your little tiny baby. Dress them, layer them, put all the fucking clothes and shoes in the world that you want on them because he fights me. He literally fights me, kicks me, takes off his clothes while I'm putting it on. Like he hates clothes. Like he just hates it. I don't know. I'm like, I understand though. I hate clothes too, you know? But he just hates it. So put all the outfits on your babies. And shoes. I fucked up because everybody kept telling me, don't put shoes on him. It's bad for his foot because it won't like shape good or i don't know what the heck and now my son has like a fat ass white tamal foot <laughs> i feel like if i would have put shoes on him he'd be better but no i didn't so that's another struggle as they get older is they hate clothes they hate getting dressed they hate shoes I don't want to say they, because this is my child. Like, I'm telling you how my child is. Hopefully, your child's not like that. Hopefully, they love clothes. <laughs> they love shoes. I kind of feel and tell myself that it's a boy thing. Because I feel like a girl would be like, want to look cute you know but i don't know i don't have a girl my sister has a girl actually she just had a little baby girl she's so cute she hates clothes too so i don't know <laughs> she gets so mad and she cries so i guess it just depends it's different for everybody that's what I'm saying. It's different for everyone. Don't compare. Don't let people pressure you either into breastfeeding. So annoying. I have some of my friends that like their families or whatever were like pressuring them to breastfeed. And like they didn't have a lot of milk and it's stressful because I've been there, you know. I know what it feels like. 
I'm mean, like, if you can't, you can't, you know? Like, but don't let them pressure you into it. It's your baby. If you guys have any questions on anything that I've used or I'm using, let me know. Because I'm trying to like hurry up so Enzo, just in case he wakes up, you know. <sighs> Another thing is he's very clingy to his mama. Like he always wants to be with me. He always wants me to hold him. Which I kind of heard that that's how boys are. They're more with their mom, you know. Which honestly, I believe, I think that is true. Because when I go to his little gym class, the little girls are all walking around, doing their thing, you know, wandering around and stuff. And the little boys are right there with their moms, being little crybabies, you know, including my son. Like, eh, you know, they don't want to be alone or you can't be too far from them because they like freak out, have a panic attack. So if you're having a boy, and if you wanted him to be a mama's boy, he's gonna be a mama's boy. Trust me, regardless. Like he only goes with his daddy for a little bit, you know? I'm just like, go with your dad. Don't you get tired of me? But I'm not gonna that lie, I love it. Don't compare your the crazy your struggles to somebody else's struggles don't compare your baby to somebody else's baby like just worry about yourself you know and your own little baby in your own little world and learn as you go you know don't let these people get to you don't let them like peer pressure you and honestly enjoy your newborn man enjoy that little one enjoy that moment the moments where they still don't know how to crawl and they don't know how to walk yet i mean obviously you have to pick pick them up more at that stage you know and carry them and stuff but trust me it's easier it's so much easier at that time so go and do things you know take the time i know it feels like you don't have the time but you have more time than you're going to have now that they get older and they require more attention and more activity and you know and then they start eating solids so then you have to like cook more and make food for them and make different meals so that they don't get like tired of the same stuff you know get them to try new things read to them sing to them i love like the heart Part is the toddler years, you know? And I know it's only gonna get harder and it's gonna be different struggles. And I, I know, I feel like it's always gonna be hard, you know? It's just gonna be something new. But that's my experience so far as him being a one year old and walking and running and crawling and grabbing everything and opening everything. And he throws little fits and little tantrums. It's so funny. But I think that what they watched does have a huge influence on them. I don't want to talk crap, but 
ever since he started watching Caillou, that's when he started throwing like his little fits. And if you don't know what Caillou is, look it up. YouTube it. If you do know, then you know what I'm talking about. Caillou was a crybaby and he liked to throw little fits when like he didn't get his way, didn't get what he wanted. He was like, Daddy, Mommy, Ugh. hey Caillou. So I feel like ever since he started watching that little kid, that's when he started like throwing himself on the ground type of stuff, you know? Because where else does he see that? It's not like I throw myself on the ground. It's not like his dad throws himself on the ground. It's a huge part of like their development, I feel. I recommend Baby Einstein's. He likes Baby Einstein's. He, that's like the only thing he actually watched when he was smaller. Now that he's older, he likes Danny the Tiger, which is like the Mr. Rogers show. Um, he likes Happy Feet, like Toy Story. Just put different things that you think will be good for them, you know? I think Baby Einstein's is really good. Um, Super Y is really good. More like learning shows, you know? I feel like Caillou is a learning show, but he's just a brat, so. I don't know. I just put on some thing on my lips and then some lashes, so it would have been faster if I did it off the phone. And on my lips, I have. It's from the I Love Friday collection with Color Pop, and it's called Softy. I love it, it's so pretty. But yeah, thanks for watching, thanks for getting ready with me, guys. This is the final look. I try to say everything that I used, um, but if you didn't hear it, um, or if you have any questions, just comment and I'll answer. But yeah, thanks for getting ready with me, guys, and talking to me. I'm a stay at home mom and wife, so you know, I have no one to talk to. Just kidding. But for real, though. So. That's my advice again. I know I keep saying it, but... That's my experience. Like, like I've been wanting to say that so bad because now that I go out with Enzo, it's just so hard because he takes his shoes off, he takes his pants off, he wants to walk, he wants to run, he wants to crawl, he wants to grab things. Now he's interested in toys, he's interested in candy and chips and stuff, you know? And it's just so hectic going to the store with him. Like you can put him in the car, you can put him in the stroller and he will try to get out. So... That's something that I didn't do when he was a newborn and it was it was just that. It was the fact that I just was like, oh, he's a baby, he's too little, like it's gonna be hard and I was just scared. I don't know what I was scared of, you know? If again, those of you that have newborns and, and have experienced it or if you're pregnant, you're gonna see that all you do is eat shit and sleep, literally, you know? It's just a little bit more scary because they're so tiny and you're just like, oh my gosh, what do you want? You know, like, I don't know. But I do for sure regret not going out more when he was younger and doing stuff then. The same thing with the clothes, you know? Like, oh my gosh, it's so hard putting clothes on them now. So put on all their little cute outfits, you know, when they're little. Put shoes on them because now he fights me with the shoes and with the clothes. Like, it's crazy. And that's something that I did listen to people when they were telling me like, oh, don't put shoes on him because it's bad for his foot. And then I see all these people putting these cute shoes on their little tiny babies and I'm like, damn it. There's so many shoes I didn't even put on Enzo and that they don't fit him anymore because people told me not to, you know. But that's what I get for listening. Um, but I mean, at the end of the day, you know what's best for your baby. Do you, you know, don't compare your kid to other kids. If people do it, let them do it. You know, that's totally their problem. You know, I don't know why people do that. It's annoying. But, um, yeah. Let me know if there's anything else you guys want me to talk about or any of my experiences, like, that I've had so far with Enzo. Um... I think that's pretty much like the biggest thing for me is just he's getting his little attitude and his little personality is coming through now. So, yeah, it's pretty crazy. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, feel free to share. Have other people follow me. Hope you guys like my makeup. Bye.